Hey everyone, welcome to the UI guide. Today we are going to see how we can deploy a static website in S3. So I have the S3 console open over here and I also have a static website files over here as you can see. So this is just an index file that says hey, I am hosted in S3 and I have an error page. If some error occurs where I should be redirected to, that's it. So let's go ahead and create a bucket first. So to See bucket name is universal universal unique, so it should be unique name. So we can give it a uh, name like the UI guy static static uh, maybe. So let's uh, and you can maybe go ahead and choose your region. For me, I will uh, keep this as it is as Mumbai. Okay. So leave everything as it is and let's create a bucket. As now you can see, we have successfully created a bucket. Let's go ahead inside that bucket. And let's upload our files for the static website. So I will click on this add files and I will go to my desktop where I have these files as the website. So I have two files one is error and one is index. So if you have more files, feel free to upload them all. Okay, select them all and just hit upload. Okay, now upload is successful. Let's close this. Now you can see in our S3 bucket we have all these two files. Let's go to this property tab. And let's go all the way down. You can see static website hosting. Let's edit it. And let's enable this static website hosting. Hit save changes. Sorry. Uh, here we need to mention the index document. So the if everything goes well, we will open index.html on the first place. And if anything goes wrong, I will open the error.html page. Okay. That's it. Let's go and we save changes. Okay. So this successfully edited website hosting. Now if you go again all the way down, you can see URL over here. Let's click to open this URL. Okay. Now this URL is open and you can see that uh, the core access is denied. So we successfully uh, enabled the static website hosting, but this access of external uh, HTTP to this bucket is not yet there. So let's try to enable this. So we will enable this in just two simple steps. So let's go to this permission tab. And you can see this in, in the access bucket and object are not public, so we need to make it public. So, what we'll do is we'll click on this edit and we'll disable this block all public access and hit save changes. And let's confirm this. Okay, this is the first step, and then second step, let's go to this bucket policy and click on edit. And here we need to provide it a bucket policy. So let's try to generate a bucket policy. So I'll go here, policy generator. Okay, it opened up AWS policy generator. So here in the select type of policy, I will select S3 bucket policy. And the principle is star because I want this website to be accessible from everywhere. And in actions, what I need? I need this to access the object. Okay, so I'll Get, choose get object let's try to find get object okay get object is here that's there then we have to provide the arn what is arn if we we'll go here in our bucket again so in bucket we have this arn let's copy this let's go again here paste this arn then slash star okay and then our statement so now we can click on generate policy so it gave us a policy let's copy this Let's go to our uh, edit bucket policy and okay. Let's save changes. So it's giving me some error like uh, policy must start with curly braces. So maybe there is a space over here. Save changes. So successfully edited bucket policy. So if we we'll go again to the same URL, so you can see this. Hey, I am hosted in S3. So we have successfully hosted the website in AWS S3. Uh, that was it uh, for this video. Thank you.